I'm WJZ and CBS News Baltimore. First alert meteorologist Steve Sosna. We talk about coastal flooding in our area a lot. And we talk about the terms minor, moderate, and major. We see minor coastal flooding oftentimes with a lot of storms. Water levels are rising with climate change. And when we get storms that push the water in, you get flooding. And most of our coastal flood events are minor. What does that mean? That means that water is coming over the streets, but it's not posing a risk to your life or to your property. It can look extreme. When you see water-filled streets, it appears like it's major flooding, but it's not. There are strict definitions, and these definitions matter. When you get to moderate coastal flooding, you're getting a few feet of water above dry ground. At this point in time, your car can get trapped in the water. Uh, you can get stranded in a location, and there can be some damage impacts, meaning water coming into your house if you're in a vulnerable area. But the difference maker with this storm is we're expecting major coastal flooding in some locations. Major is a big deal here. When I'm talking about major coastal flooding, in each area, the threshold of meeting that is different based on how high the land is. But if you are in a major category, that means that there is significant risk of property damage. Water is one of the strongest forces out there and it can pile through your house, it can cause damage, it can trap and isolate communities. And we're expecting that here for some of the high tides early on Wednesday morning. So you need to educate yourself if you're in one of those vulnerable zones and do not drive through those waters and be prepared that there could be possible damage here uh, tomorrow morning. It's not one of those storms where you wanna check this out to see how cool it is. This is dangerous and life-threatening. And so that's why we're here to kind of explain the situation. We've seen a lot of minor events that look major, but we're going to get the real deal major event. And so make sure that you're staying safe with the CBS WJZ First Alert Weather Team.